Hello, my name is Guy Shingleton. I'm the inventor of the Colorado Bee Vac. And although I would like to say thanks to JP, the Bee Man, for helping me test it and tweak it and make it that much better for you. Um, there are a lot of bee vacuums out there and almost as many bee vacuums as there are beekeepers. But I'd like to show you the reasons why I think the Colorado Bee Vac is superior to anything out there on the market right now. First off, we start off with great materials, whether it's the medium or the super size. Uh, we use Man Lakes Select Premium Hive Bodies, and so we don't have to worry about knots or hardly any imperfections in the lumber. Great lumber, easy to work with and put together, and great quality. Then we paint them with two coats of Bare Premium Exterior Paint so that uh, they'll weather better and give you years of service. Uh, there's a large capacity for capturing the bees, whether it be the medium or the super. Even with the medium, you're looking at about double the capacity of most of the competitive uh, competitors' vacuums, catch boxes out there right now. Uh, normally, the vacuum is incorporated right into the box. We have it on top of the box instead of being contained in the box, which gives you that much more room. So. For the price of this box, you would have to buy two boxes of the competitors for the same amount of, uh, of catching or uh, capacity. Um, the large ventilation area, once the vacuum is off and you're transporting the bees, you don't have to worry about them overheating because of the screened in area provides plenty of ventilation so that they um, so that they don't overheat. Easy to carry. You can carry it by the handle which is on the pull-out tray or you can use the hand holds that uh, are in the hive bodies themselves. So easy to pick up, easy to carry. Uh, easy to empty. I'll show you a demonstration of that after we vacuum up some of our foam bees. And um, they're easy to change if you get into a large extraction or even uh, multiple swarms, that sort of thing, that you can change from one box to another box really fast and contain the bees. Once they're in your vehicle transporting it home, you don't have to worry about them getting out of the catch boxes. Um, the vacuum itself is a shop vac that we've modified for our purposes 1.75 horsepower so it's strong enough to operate the 10 foot hose which is included or a 20 or 30 foot hose if you want to go that long you regulate the vacuum pressure by simply twisting this valve and allows for uh, better regulation of the vacuum pressure that you have and one of the things that makes this superior to a lot of the vacuums is this simple little pegboard. It distributes the vacuum area out over the whole surface of the catch box. So you're not drawing the bees in at one point or sucking them to one location of the uh, vacuum pressure that's going through. Uh, it's distributed. It cuts down on the uh, fatalities of the bees, what I call bee splat. It's not bringing them in so hard from one end that they cross the container and splat on the back side. One of the problems that uh, we had with the design of using a bucket is it was very hard to regulate the pressure at which to bring the bees in without killing them by hitting the other side of the container. Um, also, you're not in a situation where uh, the vacuum bag, we experimented with that a little bit, but we had a big problem with mortality of the bees because they were confined within the uh, collection bag and the bees tended to overheat or they came out as one kind of gummy 
honey ball of bees because they um, uh, the honey was all over anything but that was a big problem um, the set comes with a uh, the vacuum a catch box and the hose but right now I'd like to show you how it works make it that much easier uh, operating the vacuum all you have to do is set the vacuum head on top of the catch box you don't have to worry about screwing it down or tightening it or anything like that there is enough vacuum pressure that you can actually pick the box up once it's on so if you had to move it from the ground to a table or from the table to the ground you don't have to necessarily worry about picking it up uh, from the bottom uh, the vacuum itself will uh, act as a handle and I'm going to regulate the pressure a little bit to show you how that works but let's vacuum up a few of our styrofoam bees and see how it is <laughs> why I twisted the valve to give it a little bit more vacuum pressure is that with these styrofoam bees it doesn't require a lot of pressure at all whereas if you're doing an extraction or actually uh, picking up bees vacuuming in bees that usually I have it about a quarter turn something like that to increase the vacuum pressure um, because the bees are a little bit harder to catch than is the styrofoam that we're dealing with. So once you have the bees on the inside, which you can see our styrofoam bees here, it's just a matter of setting it on your hive box. Now I've already, as a example here have it with some frames uh, and typically whether it be a swarm or whether you've done an extraction where you've taken some of their honeycomb and uh, brood and that sort of thing to make up the box you have it ready and waiting for them to uh, come back in so it's prepared ready for the bees you've got them in the box You can just take out the bottom, set it on top, usually better if you make it darker. And um, if, if the easy way is just to set them on in the evening and then in the morning when you come back, if they're cooperative little bees, they've all migrated down into the hive box and then you can just lift off your catch box and go catch another box or <laughs> more bees. Uh, if they haven't migrated down, sometimes you'll go to all that effort and then you'll still find them clinging in a corner or balled up one place or another. And then it's simply a matter of slapping it down. They'll fall down into the box and then you can remove it. Uh, a lot of times if you're just working with one box and you need to uh, maybe empty one swarm and go out and catch another swarm. That's the fastest, easiest method is when you come back to your yard, uh, just go ahead, knock them down, remove uh, the uh, body, insert your bottom again, Lock it up and you're ready to go again. Um, you can go from whether it be the medium. Mm -hmm.